Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your detergent and dis dispensing drawer on your on a front load washer. Uh, please keep in mind this is on a, my LG washer. Your your front load washers with these dispensers should have a similar procedure. Please uh, refer to your to the owner's manual or on online manual for your specific machine uh, this video's purpose is to show you how to be able to remove this drawer and be able to clean it you should have a similar uh, you should be able to do something similar as I do with this uh, I will not be I cannot be held responsible for any damage that you might do to your own machine if you don't follow your manufacturer's instructions for the removal of the drawer or anything in this video. Uh, I'm going to pause this for a moment so I can put the camera down so I can start. Okay, now we're going to start the cleaning procedure. First, you got to open the drawer all the way and it's going to stop. Right there, as you can see, is it stopped. Next, to be able to remove this drawer, you, can, you notice the tab here, it says push. All you gotta do is gently push down on that button, and it's, it's gonna allow you to pull the drawer all the way out. As you can see, when you push down, it release, releases, that, releases that catch, that way it can come out from inside the machine. As you can see, that's what it looks like in, in there. Next. So next, you can clean all the, at least in my machine, all these cups are actually removable. So, so you can uh, thoroughly clean, clean this, and I'll show you how. Please, please note that you don't want to push too hard on that release tab because you don't want to break it off. You don't want to break it off, as otherwise your the drawer can fall out. Now I'm going to show you how to disassemble this. So, Sorry about the movements and everything. Now I'm going to show you how to take this apart you can, to be able to clean out the various cups and everything. One thing to keep in, one thing to note here is this tray. This, this in my machine is the main wash cup where the where the uh, laundry detergent goes. On mine, you can actually take this out and then underneath where it says main wash, that's where you put if. You want to use powder you put the powder into that part as you can see this cup just comes out this little part that says max that also comes out for comes out for cleaning when the washer dispenses its soap it goes it go, actually goes down through this hole Then when then when you're done done cleaning it, all you gotta do is put it put it back in again, and that's ready to go. In my machine, it has in my machine it has two extra cups because uh, because my my this my machine has a pre wash a pre wash setting. Which is, which is this cup right here? This one here is for the pre-wash. So, where you put some extra detergent, and to be able to remove it, all you gotta do is just be very careful. Let's see, Let's see if you pull it out, it'll come up a little bit like that. But you get, don't pull too much, because you see there's two tabs 
two tabs on the back side of this cup that help to hold it in there. What you gotta do is you gotta lift it up very, very gently. And it should snap right, snap right out of there. Of course, it's not gonna be easy for the camera, is it? Which it never, never, which it never is. You can also put a little something under the tab there and just lift it a little bit like that. Lift those little tabs up just a little bit. In which case, then, then that cup should come out like that. And you can see the channel that it that it, the soap travels through. The main detergent when it dispenses, it goes down here and goes out the back. And then it goes down a hole in the back back of the dispensatory when you're done done with you set that aside this one is for liquid liquid bleach same procedure with that one gently lift lift it lift it up See, you gently lift it up, and you gotta get, and you gotta release those tabs in the back. Like that. This, uh, then you can just set that, that, clean that one, set it aside. Then you can clean down underneath here. Whenever the, uh, chlor Whenever the bleach dispenses, it goes down that hole. This is this is the where the fabric softener goes, which will go down that hole. And the reason why you can't use uh, uh, powders in those is because it because when you fill fill it up to the max lines in those in those cups, when the when the washer goes to dispense the, the 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 detergent or the softener or the bleach what it does is it what it does is it fills it up and then it, then it creates like a little siphon action which pulls all the stuff down and goes down the hole now when you're done when you're done with that make sure you know where everything goes pre-wash Snap it back in. The bleach. See, on the on the, on the bottom of the bleach dispenser has two holes, but this is how this is how it gets the siphon going is because these these tubes on the bottom fit loosely over over these tubes. When it goes back in, like snapping in back like that, it covers up those tubes, and what happens is the liquid goes down under there. When it fills it up, it goes into that tube, and that little hollowed out part there that covers it allows it to create the siphon, which uh, pulls it all down. And if if you're using powder, you don't have to put this cup back in. But the, this cup just goes, just sits in there. And then when you're when you're done, uh, one thing I wanted to show you is I'm sorry if the camera goes in and out of focus. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is this is the inside where that little drawer goes in. Whenever it dispenses it's the product, it goes down down that hole all the way in the back there. What I wanted to show you is the various uh, various ports here, here. And then there's and then there's two more back there. Those are uh, how where the water comes out of to dispense 
the uh, various products. This one's the soap. That that one back there is the pre-wash. That one right there would be the bleach, and this one is the fabric softener. And none of them come on at the same time. They only call, come on depending on what cycle you set. You set when when it starts, it'll come here. When it calls for soap, this one will go on to wash the soap down in. When it calls for fabric softener, this one will go on, and so on. The machine also has like a set of uh, water inlets back inside the machine that bypasses all these when it's not calling for any product at all. Remember how, remember how I said with these cups, the liquid liquid dispensers, how the how they siphon water through the tube. See how this is so much bigger than this. I mean, this cup here has a little drain hole in it, but the others the other two don't. I just want to show you how these work. Quick here, when you fill up a, a detergent. Detergent. When you fill it up to the max line, it hold it holds it. What happens is when it when it calls for soap, that that spray jet turn on. It fills up the cup, and as you can see, it siphons that liquid out, and whatever is in in there. That's why you can't use powder detergent in here because as we all know powder clumps and has a has a way to uh, clog up passages like that and then it wouldn't be able to siphon the water out I'll do it again see him at, at the max line I'm blocking I'm just trying to block the little drain hole on the bottom so when it comes up, see it starts coming out underneath. And when the water goes off, when it's not calling for soap anymore, as you can see, it just siphons that water. It siphons the uh, would siphon the detergent right out of there. That's how. That's how these cups dispense the uh, detergent. And it's also the same way for the uh, bleach dispenser and the fabric softener dispenser. They do the same siphon as this does. When you're done, when you're done cleaning this, done cleaning the tray, got all the dispensers put back in. All you got to do then is line up. The rails, as you can see, there's two rails. You got two slots right there on left and right. All you gotta do is line those up. Just push it in. You'll hear it click. That's the uh, the push tab locking itself back in again. As you can see, it won't come out as long as that's locked. And then there you are. Your dispenser should be good and clean. Please remember what I said at the beginning of this video. Please uh, refer to your uh, manufacturer's manual on, on their specific procedure to be able to remove that drawer and its dispensers. This is, an L this is actually an LG washer that we just got recently uh, please follow your manufacturer's recommendations on how to how to disassemble your specific uh, dispenser on, for your dis specific machine but the procedures should be similar 
uh, I assume no responsibility if you if you break your dispenser. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope this helps you if you need want to be able to clean your uh, detergent and fabric softener dispenser. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and God bless.